Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. We've got a great one for you today. It's a little known fact. Divi's actually got a little mega menu built in. And I've got one here and it's really easy for a simple mega menu. If I roll over here, it'll drop down. We can go down, get on our little links there. Fantastic. And if you want to, you can use this anywhere on your site. I roll down a little bit. I made a little button there. And if I roll over it, the mega menu is going to drop down from there. So you can check it anywhere on your site. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to go down to my dashboard. The first thing that we're going to need to do is actually create the menu. So go down to appearance, once in your dashboard. And then menus. That'll take you to this page. We need to create a new menu. I'm going to go up to here where it says create new menu, left click. I'm going to give our menu a name, call it what you want. I'm going to call my new mega menu. And hit the little create menu button. Okay, we need to actually create our menu now. We're going to be using basically custom links and the keystones for this. So let's close up the pages over here. I'm going to go down to custom link. And this is what it's going to say on your menu, our services or menu, or whatever you want to call yours. I'm just going to call mine mega menu for argument's sake. With a URL for a custom link, you have to put something in there. I'm just going to put a hashtag as a placeholder. Once I've put that in there, I'm going to hit the add to menu. And it's added it to our menu right there, which is fantastic. Once it's added it, you can go in and get rid of that link because I really don't want this to link anywhere. Fine. Now, my idea is to have similar as I had here. If I drop this down, I'm going to have four titles there. And under each of those titles, I'm going to have four options. And you can make many more than this if you want to. I'm going to keep it quite simple. So let's add our first title, which will be the pro services there. To do that, we'll use another custom link. I'm going to capitalize my text now, just so it's a little different from the other ones. Pro services. And again, we'll put a placeholder hashtag in there, add it to the menu. This time, I'm going to left click on it and drag it slightly to the right and release it. So it's a sub item. That's going to tell my little menu that this is going to be a little row of its own. And below this, I can add the pro services pages. So let's go back up to my pages here and find a few pages. Let's add that one, this one, that one, and that one. Okay, and let's pull these over. We're going to pull these over one more. That's going to tell it that that's the head of a column there. Then rinse and repeat, add another one without a link with a capital text for your next column heading. Then add your links below that. Once you're happy, hit the save menu. For speed, I'll just load the one that I had. No point you watching me rinse and repeat, adding headings and links. Let's go up. I'll select the one that I had before. And here it is. As you can see, I've just added Four, three more headings, each with four more links behind them. Now, here's the important part. You need to open the top one, the keystone there that says Mega Menu or whatever you've called yours. Hit the little chevron. We need to give it a class name of Mega Menu. That'll tell it to drop down and display all the links at once. Now, yours won't have that in there initially. And I'll put that little class name down below. It is a Divi built-in class name. Now, if you go into your drop down here and you don't see the little box there for CSS classes, it's not there by default. What you need to do is go up to the top of your screen. You'll see a little tab there called screen options. Hit the little chevron to drop it down or little arrow. And over here, there's a little box that says CSS classes. You want to make sure you check that. Once you check that, you will see the little CSS box down below. 
and then some great little interesting things there. So check them out because you can add them and get some great features going. Okay, once you've got that going, put the class name in there and it's very simple. Mega dash menu. Great. Okay, we can close that up now. Make sure that we save everything. And if we roll down, we can assign it where we want to put ours. I've assigned mine to the primary menu here and you can assign it to the secondary or the footer menu. Like I say, once you're happy, save your menu. We're good to go. And if I go back to my page, refresh, you won't see any difference because we called it the same exact thing. And if I roll over it, there it is. It's going to drop down. There's our four little titles there. And there's our little links to our menu items. Now the background color here is dictated in the customizer as in that little purple line there. I'll show you exactly how to change that if you want to. And also, if you want to, you can use it on a little button. I've created a little button here. It rolls out and shows the menu when you do that. Okay, to customize the background color here and the drop down of the line, go to your dashboard. Again, we'll go to appearance. This time we're going to go down to customize. That'll take us to this page here. We go down to header and navigation. We set this as our primary menu here. So here's primary menu right here. If we roll down, I've got drop down menu background color. That's what we're using for the mega menu background. I've got mine set to blue. You can change it. Just set it to black, whatever color you want. Now it's black. If you want to see a bit of it through, just take the opacity slider down a little bit. Then you'll have a hint of that image behind there. Well, that's entirely up to you. And the little line that separates them, that at the moment's purple, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Drop down menu line color. Change that from purple to blue. Should stand out a bit better. The little blue line right there. When you're happy, hit your publish button. Okay, for anybody that wants to learn how to make that into a button, really easy to do. Let's enable my visual builder. Go down to wherever it is you want to put your menu. I've got mine right here. Let's delete that and I'll start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a new module. Funnily enough, I'm going to use a menu module. If we roll down, there's a menu module. Select the menu that we want, which is my mega menu, which is called MM. I've got quite a few menus here, as you can see. There it is right there. And it's appeared over there. Fantastic. While I'm here, let's give it that same background color, perhaps, as we've got on this button above. Get my little color picker going. I've got a free color picker here from Chrome. Yeah, let's copy a little hex code there. And we'll give it that same background color. Just going to click on any color there. Here's the hex field. Just paste it in there with or without the hashtag. It'll put the hashtag in if you don't put it in there. And we've got that same blue there. Fantastic. Okay. Well, as you can see, it's already working, which is fantastic. But I want to change that writing to white in color. Let's go over to design. Menu text. Active link and regular menu text color. I'm going to make both of those white. Fantastic. And I'm going to capitalize it. I want to pop it in the middle. Now let's spread those letters out just a bit. So they're similar to those ones above. It's probably not the same font. Do that with letter spacing. That's fine. That'll do for an example. Okay, well, let's make it a bit wider and make it a bit more like this button up here. We can do that with spacing. Close up our menu text. We'll go down to spacing. And yeah, let's give it, say, 20 pixels top. Just put in the 20, it'll put in the pixels. Hit the little chain, it'll do the bottom. 
guessing that's about right. That'll do for me. Okay, width-wise, I guess I want to make it a lot skinnier, maybe 200 picks and keep it in the middle. So if we close up spacing, we've got sizing just above. Let's go down to width, not logo width. We're not using a logo on this. If we go down to width, say 200 px, 200 pixels. Well, that's about right. Now, what we need to remember is when we hover over it and the menu drops down like that, we want to make it a lot wider. So I'm going to pop this in the middle. And then this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the writing, dark writing within a module, you'll see these little icons appear. Go to the thing that you want to edit, width in my case here. There's a little arrow there. We can create a hover state. Desktop is when your mouse is not on it. And hover obviously is when your mouse is on it. And you can have two different values. For desktop, I want it that wide. When they hover on it, I want it to expand to take out all of the available space. So I'm going to put 100 percent not picks but percent on the end so it'll expand from that when they hover on it and it'll be that as a regular state let's just round off those corners so it looks more like a button here we can do that easily by closing up sizing going down to border i'm going to give mine a high pixel value i'm just going to put 50 in if you've got this little chain link right here it'll do all four at once that's fine for me Right, well, let's save our changes here. Make sure this is all going to work on the front end. Exit the visual builder. There's our top mega menu with our little drop down and get to our links, go to wherever we want. We roll down the page a little bit. We created that button. And if I roll over it, it drops down, it expands, and we've got that menu. And you can put that anywhere you like on your site. Just save it to your library, load it wherever you want it. Nice little feature. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a very simple mega menu for your Divi site. That's a built-in feature that you don't hear much about. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.